Hi everyone! Uh, welcome back sa aking channel, uh, GTR Matutorial. So this is uh, Sir RJ Insanyado. And uh, today I will discuss uh, one problem lang. So medyo marami kasing parang nai-stack up sa problem na ito. So solve natin. Okay, so the sum of two numbers is 4 over 10 and their product is 1 over 6. So what is the sum of their squares? So, ang hinahanap natin dito ay sum ng square nila. So, sulat muna natin yung mga equations na mabubuo natin. Okay? So, sabi dito, the sum of, so yan, sum of two numbers is 4 over 10. So, isulat muna natin. So, hindi natin alam yung dalawang numbers. So, let x, let x and y. So, let x and y be the numbers. Okay? Since so, hindi natin alam yung dalawang numbers. So, the sum of two numbers is 4 over 10. So, therefore, our equation is uh, x plus y is equal to 4 over 10. So, 4 over 10, pwedeng i-lowest term ito. So, we can divide both by by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2 and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, lowest term lang natin ito. So, our equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 2 over 5. Okay? So, ito ang ating equation number 1 since dalawa yung equation na mabubuo natin. And their, their product, the product of two numbers, is 1 over 6. So, yan na yung pangalawang equation natin. So, equation number 2, uh, dito na lang, xy equals 1, 6. So, this is our equation number 2. So, ang hinahanap natin dito, what is the sum of their squares? So, ang hinahanap natin ay sa problem, so, find x squared plus y squared. Okay. So, karaniyo ang ginagawa dito, pag nagsasolve tayo nito, since we have two equations, x plus y equals 2 over 5, and xy, x times y equals 1 over 6. So, karaniyo ang ginagawa, ay sinosolve natin ang x and y. So, to solve for x and y, so, solve natin yung, solve natin yung x or y sa isa sa mga equation, then substitute natin dun sa pangalawa. So, in this case, pwede natin isolve yung uh, y na lang para in terms of x. So, solve for y in equation number 2. So, we can divide both by x. So, if we divide both both sides of equation number 2 by x, so, magiging uh, y is equal to 1 over 6x na lang ito equation number 2 natin. Since, we divide natin both sides by x. So, divide by x or multiply by 1 over x. Parehas lang yan, ha? Multiply both sides by 1 over x. So, yan. So, Ayan, so pag-multiply natin to both sides by 1 over x. So ito na yung kakalabasan niya, so cancel out na itong uh, x and 1 over x. So y is equal to 1 over 6x. So ito yung karaniwang ginagawa. So tapos, itong y equals 1 over 6x, isa-substitute dito sa, sa y ng equation number 1. Okay, so magiging equation natin, so we have x plus y ay 1 over 6x na lang. So yung y pinalitan natin na to. So, equals 2 over 5. Okay? So, pag itong teknik ang ginawa natin, so, magkakaroon pa tayo dyan ng quadratic. So, yan. So, multiply natin sa LCD ng 6x tsaka 5. So, that is 30x. So, multiply both sides. Yan. So, ang LCD na 6x at 5 ay 30x. Okay? So, divide natin. O, multiply natin dito. So, 30x times x. So, that is 30x squared and then 30x divided by 6x, so that is equal to 5. 5 na lang to, times 1, so plus 5 na lang, equals 2 pip times 30x, or 30x divided by 5, so that is 6x times 2, so that is equal to 12x. So yeah, so quadratic na nga ang pinalabasan natin equation, so nilipat lang natin yung 12x sa kabilang side, so we have 30x squared minus 12x plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, then susolve natin yung quadratic quadratic equation. So, pwede tayo gumamit ng quadratic formula since hindi naman, mukhang hindi naman factorable ito. So, kung tandaan nyo yung quadratic formula, so, ayan. So, meron, kan, meron kanta kami dito eh sa quadratic formula para hindi makalimutan eh. So, nakakahiya ko kanta. O, sige, sige, anin natin. So, yung kanta namin sa quadratic formula, ganito yan. To the tune of jingle bell yan eh. So, x equals, ayan, x equals negative b plus or minus radical 
B squared minus 4AC all divided by 2A. Ayan. So, yun yung kanta para hindi nyo makalimutan. So, ayan. Sinear ko lang sa inyo. So, ayan. So, to the tune of jingle ba yun, ha? X equals negative B plus or minus radical B squared minus 4AC all divided by 2A. Ayan. Ayan. So, para hindi nyo makalimutan. So, tapos, so, isa-substitute lang natin. So, ito yung A, B, C. So, we have A is equal to 30. B is equal to negative 12. And C is equal to positive 5. So, substitute lang natin dito para ma masolve natin yung masolve natin yung value ng x. So pag sinolve natin yung value ng x sa so ngaba, kanina hinahanap natin x squared plus y squared. So ayan, so simula dito, nai-stack up na yung karamihan. Pag itong technique na to ang ginamit niyo. So ito masasolve niyo rin naman pero komplikado, komplikado na masyado humaba na. Okay, so tuturuan ko pa yung kung paano yung uh, technique para isolve ang ganitong type ng problem kapag given ang given ang sum and product of two numbers at ang hinahanap natin ay sum ng kanilang square so hindi itong approach na ito ang gagamit natin kasi may stack, may stack up kayo dito promise, mahirap na so ito yung technique para kasagutan ito okay, purahin natin ito yan ha, so pag, naka, pag nakakita kayo ng ganitong problem na sum and difference or So, given ang sum and product of two numbers, then hinahanap nyo ang sum of their squares or pwede rin sum of their cubes, sum of their to the fourth power. So, ganito lang yung gagawin natin. So, ito yung kanina, x, y, x times y equals 1 over 6. So, yan na, pinakita ko lang na kapag ang ginamit nyo ay find the value of x and then tsaka x and y tsaka yung square, Masyadong mahaba yung kakalabasan ng solution nyo. So, ganito lang yan. So, we have equation number 1, x plus y equals 2 over 5. And equation number 2, x, y equals 1, 6. So, pag ganitong problem, ang gagawin nyo lang, square both sides nyo lang ito. So, we have x plus y equals 2 over 5. So, square both sides natin equation 1. So, magiging ganito na yan. So, x plus y squared equals 2 over 5. Square din natin. Dahil pag in-square natin ito, di ba ang formula ng x plus y square, square of binomial, so ganito na yan. Square the first term, x squared, plus twice the product of first term and second term. So we have 2xy plus square of the second term, y squared. So equals, square din natin ito, square the numerator. So 2 squared is 4, and then 5 squared is equal to 25. Okay, so ganito lang kasimple ang pag-solve niyan. So, ayan na. Then, ito na yung hinahanap natin. Square, uh, sum of their square, x squared plus y squared. So, di ba ito na yun? x squared plus y squared. Tapos, meron tayong value ng x, y equals 1 over 6. So, itong x, x times y, papalitan natin ng 1 over 6. Okay, so, i-arrange lang natin. Pagsamahin natin yung x squared plus y squared. Ayan, so ito na yun, x squared plus y squared, plus 2xy. So, yung xy, papalitan natin ng 1 over 6. So, we have times 1 over 6 is equal to 4 over 25. Okay, so, i-simplify na lang natin ito. So, ito na yung, ito na yung hinahanap natin. Sum of their squares. So, ganun lang pala yung technique na yun. So, ito lang yung hinahanap natin. x squared plus y squared. So, simplify na lang natin ito. Okay? So, ayan. So, solve natin dito sa diretso natin dito. So, we have x squared plus y squared equals 2 times 1 over 6. So, that is 2. Oh, plus pa dito, hindi pa natin nililipat. So, plus 2 over 6 equals 4 over 25. Then, lowest term muna natin. 2, 6. So, that is 2 over 6. So, that is uh, divisible both by 2. So, pag dinivide pareha sa 2, so, magiging na siyang plus 1 third equals 4 over 25. Then, uh, lipat natin sa kabila. So, subtract one third to both sides or simply transpose. So, when we subtract one third to both sides, mawawala na kasi ito. Okay? So, hindi na natin pinakita yung subtract one third to both sides. So, nilipat na lang natin sa kabila. So, we have 4 over 25 minus one third. Okay? So, yan na. LCD na lang. LCD or we can use the 
since the LCD is the product 25 times 3 so parang mas madali di ba may technique tayo yung uh, butterfly yan so smiling butterfly technique so yan so gamin, gamin lang natin yung technique na yan so we have 4 times 3 we have 4 times 3 is 12 minus 25 times 1 so we have negative 25 over 25 times 3 75 so ayan yung answer natin so therefore uh, x squared plus y squared is equal to 12 minus 25 so that is negative 13 over 75 so therefore the sum of their squares is negative 13 over 75 okay so tandaan palagi kapag may given para isolve yung ganito na given ang sum and product ng two numbers and hinahanap natin ay sum of their squares ang technique lang natin ay ganito I-square nyo lang itong sum Dahil pag in-square nyo yan, makakakuha tayo ng x squared plus y squared Tapos may product dyan na xy So, ito yung xy, 1, 6 Then, masusolve na natin Madali na isolve Kumpara dun sa kaninang technique na Isusolve nyo yung x, isusolve nyo yung y, tsaka nyo yung square Masusolve nyo rin, pero komplikado ang uh, proseso Okay, so, once na lakarin pa kayo ng ganitong problem Ganito lang isolve yan Okay, halimbawa, pwede rin palang natin isolve. Halimbawa, ang hinahanap natin ay sum of their cube. Okay, so instead na squares, cubes naman yung hinahanap natin. So, sum of their cubes, so solve natin kapag cubes naman. So, halimbawa, ang hinahanap ay x cube plus y cube. E di, ganun pa rin ang pagsasolve. Okay, so purahin ko na ito. Ah. So, kunwari, ang hinahanap naman natin ay sum, what is the sum of their cubes? Okay, so ganyan, ganyan pa rin ang techniques. Solve na rin natin para isang ano na lang, example na lang. Ano? So pag cube naman, eh di cube nyo lang yung equation uh, number 1. So cube lang natin. So we have x plus y cube equals 2 over 5. I-cube lang natin. Makakakuha pa rin tayo ng ganito. So meron tayong formula for cube of binomial. So may pattern naman yan. Ang formula ng cube ng binomial ay x cube plus thrice the product of the square na ito, x squared y plus 3, 3 ulit, then x naman, ang naka-square naman itong y. So, y squared plus y cube. Okay? Then, 2 cube, so 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and then 5 times 5 times 5, that is 125. So, ganun pa rin ang proseso kung uh, hinahanap ay cube, sum of their cubes so, hiwalay natin yung x cube plus y cube, pagsamahin natin yan, so in-isolate natin ang x cube and y cube tapos itong 3x squared y so itong, uh, itong term na ito 3x squared y plus 3xy squared factor out natin yung common sa kanila may common tayo na pares may 3 pares may x, pares may y so, factor out the common 3x 3xy. Okay? So, may common tayo na 3xy. So, may natira pa ditong pinactor out yung 3xy. May natira pang x. Plus, pinactor out yung 3xy. May natira pang y. Equals 8 over 125. Okay? So, tapos, isubstitute na natin ang may value tayo ng xy. That is 1 over 6. May value tayo ng x plus y. That is 2 over 5. Okay, so substitute na lang yung mga values. So, ayun na, masasolve na natin ng sum of their cubes. So, we have plus 3 times xy is 1 over 6. And then, x plus y. So, meron tayong value na x plus y, 2 over 5. Equals 8 over 125. So, ayun na. So, eto na yun, x cube plus y cube, yung hinahanap natin. So, simplify lang natin to. Simplify to and then subtract both sides. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung may makakancel. Ayun, pwede may makancel. 6 and 2. Okay? So, divide both by 2. So, wala na to 1. 6 divided by 2. So, we have 3. Ayun. So, cancel out pa ulit yung 3. Ang natira na lang ay 1 over 5. Okay? So, we have... So, diretso natin dito. Diretso natin dito. So, we have x cube plus y cube. So, na simplify na. 1 fifth na lang ito equals 8 over 125. So, just uh, subtract 1 fifth to both sides. So, magiging x cubed plus y cubed 
equals 8 over 125 minus 1 fifth. Ayan na. So, gawin natin, uh, wag na yung kinukuras multiply. Gawin na lang natin itong 1 fifth na denominator ay 5. So, therefore, pag denominator of 125, saan ba, saan ba multiply ito? Pag 125, magiging 5 times 5. Times 5, tama ba? 125 times 5 is 25 times another 5, 125. So, minultiply sa 25. So, multiply sa 25 to. So, we have 25. Minultiply to sa 25. So, 125. So, similar na siya. 8 minus 25. So, ito na yung magiging answer natin. X cubed plus Y cubed. So, ito na yung answer. Over 125. So, 8 minus 25. That is negative negative 17. So, yung negative, pwedeng ilagay natin dito sa gitna. Pwede rin nasa taas. So, kahit nasaan. So, tama, no? 8 plus 17, so that is 25. So, yan. Negative 17. So, therefore, the sum of two cubes is equal So, the sum of their cubes is equal to negative 17 over 125. And then, yung sum naman ng square kanina, nasolve na natin kanina. Ano nga ba yung sagot? Nagkakang ko na. So, yan. So, that's all. So, again, kapag nagsasolve tayo ng given ang sum and product at ang hinahanap ay sum of their squares or sum of their cubes or sum of their to the fourth power. So, ganito lang yung pagsasob natin. Okay? So, sana may natutunan kayo sa video na ito. So, uh, kung bago lang kayo sa channel na to, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay? So, maraming salamat sa lahat. God bless. Bye-bye.